The timer is locked in. It's time for a mental health moment, everyone. This is Dr. Kaufman, if you know me from the classroom. Dr. Gameology, if you know me from gaming. We're playing Persona 5 Royal right now, and the enemy of the game that we are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with is a doctor in counseling. And yes, that's that's a ploy that a lot of fiction uses. Usually if there's a counselor in the story, there there is a plot device to be a form of evil or malpractice, and that stays true in Persona 5 Royal as well. But I want to actually comment on our undying need as humans to make ourselves the god of control over our own reality. This leads to a lot of problems because, of course, we don't have the control that we think we do over the random things that affect us. And these are both good random things and bad random things. And I want to talk about a concept that's actually really critical for people learning to be present and have the mindfulness to give some of this control back to our reality so that we can handle things better when they don't go our way. And in the 12-step world, we have this prayer that we give to our higher powers called the serenity prayer. And whether you believe in God or just a higher power or you don't really believe in much of anything, I think the concepts are really strong here. So I'm going to share to the higher power, you would say, God, as I understand him or her, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and most importantly, and the wisdom to know the difference. At the core struggle of Persona 5 Royal, we have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the God of the collective unconscious. So not the real God, but the God that people choose to believe in and all of the different inadequacies that they project onto it as an entity. And this God was so focused on order and control and domination over society that it actually became a force for bad that our characters had to tackle. And this spiritually makes me feel memories of the times that I've been working with clients in treatment and they might have an addiction with something that is morally wrong for them now or they might be struggling with their anxiety and they worry about things that are impossible to control like traffic patterns like knowing exactly what questions you'll need to answer on a final exam like having to have a tough conversation with your friends and really doubting what's going to happen when you get the courage to have that conversation. And I want to go back to the key words in that prayer, serenity, courage, and wisdom. We cannot control everything in our reality. And that's becoming the core message of Persona 5 Royal is good things will happen to us. Tragic and truly terrible things will happen to us. And all we can do is to, is to decide how to spend the time that we have, the choices that are given to us. And when we're able to have the courage to face those moments without this need for otherworldly control, we're able to be present and make the best choices that we can. And that's the mental health moment for today. I hope that this shed some light on some things that all of you that are watching this video feel from time to time and gives you that courage to keep moving forward as you continue the journey. So everyone remember that all we can do is the best we can moment to moment, but the desire to control everything is a shortcut to more worry. And sometimes we have to accept that there are things that we cannot control, we cannot change. And it would be really great for us to acknowledge that as we move forward. So, coming out of the mental health moment today, please continue your journey, and I'll see you next time for the next mental health moment. Let's get back to Persona 5 Royal.